Hello friends, this video on ratio and proportion part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. In a college out of 4320 students, 2300 are girls. Find the ratio of number of girls to the total number of students. So number of girls is 2300 and total number of students is 4320. So ratio of girls to total number of students would be 2300 divided by 4320. So in this case also if this 0 and 0 will get cancelled because if you uh, 10 is a common factor for both of these so this would be 230 divided by 432 this can further be simplified so again in order to simplify this you can again make use of the prime factorization technique so for 230 it is 2 1s are 2 2 1s are 2 2 5s are 10 and then can you further factorize it yes you can 5 2 is 10 5 3 is 15 and that's it. And similarly for 432, if you try and factorize it, it would be 2 2 is a 4, 2 1 is a 2, 2 6 is a 12. Again, 2 1 is a 2, 2 8 is a 16, then 2 5 is a 10, 2 4 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4, 2 7 is a 14, then 3 9 is a 27, 3 3 is a 9. So now this 230 can be written so after this step we come here so 230 can be written as 2 into 5 into 23 and 432 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 so here 2 and 2 will get cancelled and nothing else will cancel so 5 into 223 5 into 223 is 115 and 2 into 2 into 2 so this is basically except 1 2 that means this is the product of everything else 216 so the answer would be 115 by 216 let's look at the second part number of boys to the number of girls so what is the number of boys total number of students minus number of girls so that is 4320 minus 2300 which is equal to 2020 so therefore ratio of number of boys to the number of girls would be equal to 2020 divided by 2300. So in this case also 00, 0 will cancel out and again if you perform prime factorization for this like how we did in the first case you would see that the answer would be 101 divided by 115. So I leave this up to you so that you can do it on your own. So this would be 101 divided by 115. So we can write it as 101 is to 115 would be the ratio of boys to girls. Question number 5. Cost of a dozen pens is rupees 180. So how, how much is a dozen? A dozen would mean 12. So that means cost of 12 pens is rupees 180 and cost of 8 ball pens is rupees 56 so 8 ball pens cost is rupees 56 find the ratio of the cost of a pen to the cost of a ball pen so we have to find out ratio of cost of one pen to the cost of one ball pen so for that we first need to find out the cost of one pen and cost of one ball pen so for 12 pens the cost is rupees 180 therefore the cost of one pen would be how much so 12 pens is 180 so when you divide that 180 into 12 equal parts so one part is the cost of one pen so how will you find that? You divide 180 into 12 equal parts. So 180 divided by 12. So when you actually perform this division, it is 15. So one pen costs rupees 15. Similarly, the cost of one ball pen would be rupees 56 divided by 8. 8 7 is 56. So the cost is rupees 7. Now how do we find the ratio? Ratio we have to find out of a pen to a ball pen so pens cost is rupees 15 ball pen is 7 so the ratio would be 15 is to 7 now please remember this thing that if the question asks you to find out the cost of a pen to the cost of a ball pen so pen should always be on the top and ball pen should be at the below so do not reverse it because that would make it completely uh, the opposite 
so that that will not make any sense in this case so when it, when it is the ratio of pen to ball pen it is 15 to 7 15 is to 7 when it is the ratio of a ball pen to a pen then the ratio is 7 is to 15 so you please maintain the order of the terms Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.